Presented by EA Sports. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. From the end zone, here. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Stafford. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And incomplete on the deep ball. But they certainly came out firing in this one. And while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Here's Stafford. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is going to have a Rams first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? They, uh, let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. On first and ten, Stafford. Open man right side is cut complete, and he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Three yards the gain there. Second down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively. Got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. To throw again on second down. Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. To the air again, Stafford. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. That throw's not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here's big. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw, Stafford. And he's got his big tight end here. Touchdown, Rams! A great effort there. 31 yards, and the Rams are going to take a first-quarter lead. 
Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me. I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game, then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. To throw once more on second and 10, Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. The first down run for Elliott will net him about five yards. It's second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Prescott. That'll be taken in there by James Washington. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 36. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 36. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Got an open man, it's Michael Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys! Michael Gallup, 36 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Now the try here for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. 
On the return is Brandon Powell. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. A carry by Henderson to start the drive. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Third and two, Stafford. And he will go down, a Cowboy sack. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Well, how about that? The defense's first sack. It doesn't come from one of the usual suspects up front. It comes from the secondary. Yeah, I think they caught the quarterback off guard a little bit because he wasn't able to account for the possibility of that blitz and change the blocking assignment. He comes through and puts him on the ground. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. First down, Prescott. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Seven seven. Our score after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Looking to throw, Prescott. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. Sean Robinson, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott on the left side. Gallup's got it. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And he'll hit the deck, but he did not get there. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Well, he was looking at a dime formation. Six defensive backs on the field. So he's looking for anyone, anyone to throw the football to. But he didn't have anyone open, so he took off and ran for it. But he came up just short, and that brings up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. 
Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Yeah, he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold him. On the counter, this is Akers. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. But well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. On second down now, it's Henderson. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. The Rams on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and 15. Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And they'll get him down at the 34. And he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for L.A. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. It was Troy Hill that time in on the tackle. Eight yards to go on second down. The give is to Elliott. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. So forget the three and out. The penalty makes this first and ten. Here's Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. 
He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. from just shy of midfield. Prescott, Washington with a catch, middle of the field. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. A first down throw for Prescott. And that is incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. They bring him down. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39. And obviously that's well short of the first. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Now the Rams about to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with great starting field position up near the 50, they might be one completion away from stealing a late field goal here. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Here's Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. And we'll see how aggressive they want to be in these final stages before the half. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. From the gun, here's Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup, And he's going to have a first down here. They're also into field goal range at the 28. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And Gay knocks this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to seven. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half.
So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. This is Tony Pollard. Come on, fellas. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And you know what I think the defense is saying back to them? Why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, putting some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. On second down, it's Pollard. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. On first and 10, Prescott. That's complete to his tight end, Sprinkle. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Prescott on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now Prescott. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Prescott from the gun. And that will be incomplete as well. But it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. 
And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. On first down, Stafford here. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. Following the interception, here's Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. Prescott looks to throw on first. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Elliott will take this into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield, and how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is now 14-10. to 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That's taken in by Henderson. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll make it second and short. to throw Stafford over the middle and it's incomplete today's NFL these big guys are featured receivers they move them all over the place to try and find good matchups and they had one they were just unable to complete the pass they tried to throw on second down unsuccessful now it's third and one Stafford now to throw and he comes back with one complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. 
On first and ten, Stafford. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Throwing again at Stafford. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Blue 60! From just shy of midfield, Stafford oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Throwing is Stafford. And the hookup here to Allen Robinson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far in this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. They'll run on first down with Akers. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw is Stafford. He'll get this underneath to Henderson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 19. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They run the counter. Akers. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down at four. Now it's Stafford. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now Stafford. This is caught. Touchdown. Van Jefferson from three yards out. And the Rams are going to jump back in front. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. Extra point by Gain is up and good, and it's now 17-14.
after the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll fire deep downfield from Lamb. He's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. A first down carry by Elliott. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. They'll give to Elliott. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Out of the gun, here's Prescott. They're trying for Washington, but the pass intercepted. Picked off by David Law. And the Rams are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Micah Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. The Rams on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Now a first down throw, Stafford. This is caught by Robinson. Seven yards, the pick up there. Set, 
Second down, it's Henderson. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. The tank, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. And he'll find Henderson there. It's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And they get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Stafford. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Allen Robinson. There to make the grab. And the Rams add on to their lead. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. So Dak and the Cowboys down 24-14. Two minutes, 20 seconds to go. They have all three timeouts and the two-minute warning, but they need two scores. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Oh, he caught it. Just couldn't get the feet down. Couldn't get that toe tap sequence, right? I was ready to call him tippy toes if that one was completed. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And this is caught on the sideline. Are the feet in? They are. What a catch. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route will run, and the football right on the money. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. First down throw for Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. Then he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. 
A gain of six there on first. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. To throw Prescott. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Passing lanes tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Prescott. He wants it all for the end zone. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This from 54 yards away. And he's going to miss this one wide to the left from distance. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that one, an absolute backbreaker. A chance to get back within a score. Couldn't do it. Yeah, that one went begging, as they say, right? There's the opportunity, and it was missed. But all hope's not lost just yet. But, boy, getting back within one score would have been a powerful motivator for their defense to take the field with. They'll run with Henderson here to begin the drive. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. Here's a run with Akers on second down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And on third down, the Cowboys bringing an extra defensive back. Stafford got an open man finding Jefferson and he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion Game in hand, the offense takes the knee. second down acres and he's gonna have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line that'll wind up as a loss on the play so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Stafford down to a knee and with it he's going to ensure his guys a victory. Charles in this one I think the storyline really the fourth quarter coming into it neck and neck but they were able to separate put their foot on the gas and get the win. And since you mentioned neck and neck it must have a little bit of a horse racing theme. It was that close and then really went into the gallop and finished it strong. One more horse racing theme. Go. I, just, I am glad you posted today. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. 